MERS, or the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, is back for 2011, and it packs quite a punch. And the Williams team have invited us in to have a look at their preparation room. So how does the system work? Well, it starts with an MGU, or a motor generator unit. It takes power from the engine during the braking phase and converts it into electricity, and it gives it to this battery pack. Then, when he presses the KERS button, that electricity comes back through the MGU, a small gearbox, back into the engine. It's the equivalent of 80 horsepower, the power of a small city car, for just under seven seconds per lap. The problem is that under braking, it dramatically affects how the car slows down, which makes his braking quite tricky, and we're seeing a lot of errors. Now, there's a lot of heat generated, so using radiators cooled through the side pods, they have to cool the batteries down. That's why we're seeing so much unreliability. Okay, Jensen, understand we need to let curves cool down. Some teams choose not to run it, in which case they replace about 30 kilograms of equipment with ballast to make sure they don't have a weight advantage over the other cars. With that kind of power available, it's worth three or four tenths of a second per lap. That's a free pit stop during a Grand Prix. This is a very important room. It's essential to get your curve system working properly.